to the channel. We are currently en route to a little coastal town on the north coast of KZN. Gonna meet up with a good friend of mine, Chandra, and get herping. So keep on watching and let's see how it goes. Really unfortunate, but my phone died, and just as it happened, we got a call out from a restaurant for a snake. Check it out. None other than a green mamba. Check it out. Incredible. This is actually the first wild green mamba I've had the privilege of catching and interacting with, so super stoked about it. They're really shy, docile species, but regardless to what, they are potently neurotoxic, so gotta be really, really careful. She's big. She's big. Mm -hmm. She looks good. She looks good. Right, so, trying to get the mamba to sit still. A most difficult task. And pose her to get some pictures. But as you can see, she just wants to climb. do this without getting bitten, preferably. Mm. Okay, she's coming back. She's checking me out. Maybe pass me the camera. I mean, when she's positioned correctly, it's just a matter of shooting. I feel like we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now it's basically just watch the head and make sure it doesn't come anywhere near my hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's sweet. For the most part. That's not a bad pose, I can do with that. So we just turned up something pretty cool, pretty angry, on one of the roadside hedges out here in the town. None other than a vine snake. A highly venomous colubrid, inflating that neck, number one defensive system, much like the Bormslung, to make themselves appear a lot larger. These snakes are highly venomous, and there is no anti-venom for the bite. And he really wants to bite, so we're going to be careful here, get some footage, and just send him on his way. Sit 
ਕਿਹਾ ਤੂੰ I'm literally going to pop them over the fence here. Got a lot of brush, and although it's really close to human settlements, uh, there are no doubt plenty of them in town, and most of the time they remain completely undetected. So, nothing to really worry about. I'm going to pop them here in this brush. And look at them disappear. Off you go, friend. Look out for birds. There he goes. You can pretty much see why they remain undetected most of the time. He's pretty much going to sit there. They normally sit quite still, relying on their camouflage. So yeah, there he is. <laughs> so we just got a forest cobra here on the forest trail and a little juvenile really really stoked it's the first juvenile forest cobra i've ever seen in fact so really cool how's that heard oh man he is stunning <laughs> So just a better look at the forest cobra here. Really stunning little juvenile. Now, as you may know from my previous videos, um, in particular the, the most recent video where I got a forest cobra in another coastal town not far off from here. Forest cobras are pretty shy, docile snakes, although really alert and can be quite unpredictable. They're highly venomous elapid like all cobras and they are potently neurotoxic as well as cytotoxic. So it's quite a, it's quite a venomous cocktail in there. You certainly don't want to be bitten by the snake. But we see very few bites each year in South Africa. In fact, some years go by without any bites whatsoever. They're also the only cobra species in the, in the whole country to inhabit this sort of true dense canopy forest habitat. So they are semi-arboreal as well as terrestrial. They're opportunistic feeders and they'll eat just about anything they can overpower, much like other cobra species. Really, really stunning. They're also not only the longest cobra species in South Africa, but the longest true cobra species in the entire world. Bearing in mind, the king cobra is not a true cobra. They're in a genus totally of their own. So forest cobras are the longest true cobras capable of attaining lengths of up to 3.2 meters. <laughs> Just a bunch of little guinea fowl chicks here in front of someone's gate on the driveway running after mom. It's quite adorable, I won't lie. So, yeah, I figured I'd end off the video with a bunch of guinea fowl. It's been a really good day, really, really good day. We got three of the most highly venomous snakes in the area, three snakes that I'm always keen to see. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check in next.